hardest part. I love Georgetown. I couldn't live anywhere else. <laughs> We're here to honor Sally Quinn, who's our neighbor and a, a, uh, an American star of, of style and literature and German, uh, journalism and Georgetown. Grandmother adored Sally and relied on her for gossip, advice, and just a good laugh. <laughs> Sally is funny and smart and irreverent, and you can count on her to always tell it to you like it really is. Most of you might guess that newsrooms are generally populated with a group that tend toward the cynical, including their beliefs on the existence of a higher power. The Post has never been very strong in its coverage of religion. Sally fought to create on faith and give it the attention it deserves. For your contributions to literature and journalism and style in Georgetown, couldn't you be happier to present you with this award? And this is going to go off with all of my other special things with my ganache and my... <laughs> <laughs> All of the things I cherish, I'm going to put this on my little table. Thank you, Frida. We all hope we look half as good as you in 10 years. <laughs> Frida did email before I did. <laughs> I lived in Georgetown so long. I'm 95 years old. Wow. And I've been in Georgetown the same house for 51 years. I think that the cause is so worthwhile. The Georgetown Ministry, just so I hope everybody knows that if you purchase anything, we're making a donation of 15% of that to, tonight. If you're going to be a real saint in the Catholic Church, you have to perform two miracles. Gunther performs miracles every day at the Georgetown Ministries. And for that, I think uh, you have my enormous admiration.